guys. Welcome back. Good to see you, everybody. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome back. Elsie and Henry, too. Hello. Hey guys. Hello, Henry. Good to see you. So let's get started, right? We have uh, like 60 best minutes to take advantage, right? I understand that most of us work. So I, I, I understand that most of us work. Let's take advantage of the time. So um, let's get started with this practice, right? You're going to listen this section and then you're gonna share with me what you understood from this section. Page 33, exercise nine, conversation. Is that typical? Part A, listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, a lot of families in China have only one child these days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, that was something really, really funny, right? So what can you tell me about this reading? Some ideas? Mm-hmm. Some ideas, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I think that the video is about the large families. Oh, yes. They mentioned about the big families. Mm -hmm. yeah, depend uh, depend uh, the country mm -hmm. uh, where, when, they, when they live. Mm -hmm. Where they live, that's definitely correct, right? What is the country they mentioned or the countries they mentioned? Let me see. Uh, I heard that the video is about the China, mm -hmm. China country and Peru. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's have a look of this page. Right. Okay, let's read this information. Okay, thank you, Oscar. So can you help me with the first part? Um, let me see, hello, Kenny. Can you help me uh, read May Lee's information? And uh, maybe it's there. Okay, Henry. Okay, Henry, can you do it? Marcos's information. Let's go, guys. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Marco, uh, how many brother and sister do you have mainly? Actually, uh, actually, I am um, only child. Uh, really? Yeah, my families. In China, have only one child. No, nowadays. I don't, and no doubt. What about you, Marcos? I come from a um, very family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, she's that typical in Peru. No, really, a lot of family, family are it's, it's mayor, it's mayor, and that's, that's they, but big family ladies, agree. Because you have love of birthday present. 
Okay, thank you guys. Thank so, you. okay, we have the word. Okay, I want to take a look of the word. See this one, child, right? Child. Okay, we have uh, most, right? Most families in China have one child nowadays, hoy en día, right? Nowadays. Then we have R, R, R. Si decimos air, si decimos air, estamos diciendo aire, right? Air. So take care with pronunciation. Y tenemos the next word that it is smaller, smaller. Son pequeñas, son más pequeñas. And that we have the word these, these. Tengamos cuidado with pronunciation, right? Porque because the um, American people, um, they create sounds and they understand perfectly. I mean, the sounds, right? Los sonidos son muy importantes. Okay. So, questions about this conversation? It's interesting, right? It's interesting what they are discussing. Okay, so let's listen the other part of the conversation. And so you can answer this part, right? The rest of the conversation. What does mainly like about being an only child? By the way, guys, are you, um, do you have more brothers or sisters? Or is it your family big or small? In China, before, they used to have one, one child, but nowadays that has changed. So ha cambiado ahora en día, nowadays, in China, right? Antes sí, they just had one, but nowadays that has changed for la población, right? Que está envejeciendo and there are no more children over there. Okay, so let's listen. Page 33b. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Mei Li like about being an only child? So, do you like being an only child? Of course. I get all my parents' attention. <laughs> yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have a lot of friends. Okay, what can you tell me about the rest of the conversation? What else do they say? ¿Qué más dicen? What else do they say, guys? Um, I think the conversation is about the loneliness. Loneliness, that's right. Loneliness. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the Marcos at, asked her about the what, what she feels. Perfect. And um, because because she only have uh, one child. Because yes, mm -hmm. right. She is the only child, right? Are you do mm -hmm. you have sisters? Or brothers, Elsie, or are you the only child? I Your have kids. one sister. <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. I have one brother, only one brother. <laughs> okay, so you are like, uh, are you in the same age or is he older or younger than you? Uh, he is uh, less. No. Younger. younger, younger is most younger than me. He is the is youngest or younger, yes. más joven, más um, de menos edad, um, younger. Yes. Okay. Ten years. Ten years. Oh, ten years. Okay, that, that's a big gap, <laughs> <bath>, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's a lot of With. younger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's the Leo. He's the, like the baby. <laughs> like the baby. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> but you have a brother, right? Even though yeah, maybe he's far, let's say, in age, but you have a brother. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie, for sharing. Okay, tenemos younger, right? En caso que su hermano, su hermana sea más pequeño, right? En caso que sea mayor, y you are going to say older. He is older than me, right? Es mayor que yo. Okay, there you have some of the words. Sure. Mm -hmm. May I say something? Yes, sure, go ahead. Uh, in my case, mm -hmm. I have a big family. Oh, you have it? Okay. Let me tell you that I have 11 ounce and nine ounce. They are, they are brother of my father and my mother. Oh, but that that must be something really amazing. I mean, for example, when you are in Christmas, you see the whole family, right? And all the children, I can't imagine. <laughs> no, teacher, because the problem is that they, they are living in the United States. Mm -hmm. Much better, right? Because when yeah. you go there, <laughs> You see everybody there. In some time. Okay. Why are not you living here? I mean, because the whole family is there. Most of the people that have family, um, they live there, right, with their relatives. Maybe in the future, right? Maybe in the future, but yeah, that, that must be something great. Imagine Christmas and birthdays. I guess you must miss them. Okay, guys, let's move on with this topic. Uh, we're discussing about families, Page right? 30. And uh, we're going to discuss that topic that this information, it is not current, let me tell you. It has like some years. So let's find out about some facts, right? Can you help me with this information? Um, Maybe Manuel, it's there. Can you help me to read the information? Okay. And typical family. And facts about the United States. And 41% of them have three or more televisions. And 63% of family almost always keep dying together. In the home, sorry. And talk about your country or. Is, is, oh, is no, this no, this part, no. Part, no. Just this one, please. Okay. Just this one. Okay. And the work, the working family. And 55% of mothers with young children work. And 78, 78% of high school students have jobs. Marry, marry, and seventy four percent of about between the age of uh, eighteen and thirty five marry, and twenty seven percent of adults between uh, the age of eighteen and for sorry thirty four live with their parents. Okay, this, as I told you, it has changed a lot, right? A lot, a lot. For example, this, for example, this, I, uh, this percentage has increased. I incremented, right? Is this, this percentages are not accurate, but let's have some discussion, right, about this. For example, in our country, how many TVs do we have? For example, let's not talk about in general, let's talk about our home. So what about in your case? Let's see, Kenny, how many TVs do you have in your home? In my home, uh, I have one television. Oh, that's good. That let me congratulate you. <laughs> 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 yes, right. The less, the better. Less energy, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I would like other television. You would like, okay. <laughs> oh, 
okay, yeah, that, that's good, right? Because sometimes maybe children or maybe your family, your husband, another person wants to watch another thing, right? And you can. Okay, that yes. can be. Okay, interesting, right? Creo que I'm not going to ask, right? Because you can tell me, no, I have four or five or six. You are rich, guys. Okay, so we have the next, um, something that caught my attention was this fact. Algo que me llamó la atención was this fact. It says that 27% of adults between these ages live with their parents. And this is something that has increased, ha aumentado mucho, mucho. Este porcentaje, because nowadays, for example, uh, this type of person live with their parents for a lot of cost, right? The, the big cost that life has nowadays. Okay, what do you think about this information? Let's see. Um, let's see. Henry, what do you think about this information? Uh, <clears throat> Lo, est lo extraño de uh -huh. eh, inglés, ¿verdad? Perdón. <risa> <risa> eh, eh. You can tell me, you can tell me, you can try. Ok. Eh, en da extraño, extraño, extraño. Es, eh, es. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is a strange, right? It is a strange, yes. Eh, because mm -hmm. eh, the study in T is to uh, have a child. Talk about children, también, right? About the children, too. For eh, it's mm -hmm. okay, yes, uh -huh. yes, right. Now, y, mm -hmm. Y también los que se casan de 18 a 35 años. That's a big lie, right? <laughs> eh, ahora sí, bueno, en El Salvador, I don't know a qué edad se, se están casando, but ha cambiado mucho. This has changed a lot, right? Uh, we have to see like the, the statistics about the rates. Okay. Ahora no muchos se quieren casar, right? In the, for example, in the US, in European countries, they don't want to get married because of the high cost of life, or the alto costo de la vida, right? High cost. Nobody wants to, most of the people don't want to get married. Okay. So let's, it's an interesting, and we can spend the whole class talking about this, but we need to cover most more topics. We have the quantifiers, right? We can use all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, we have some, not many, a few, few, and no one. Estos son los, um, los que nos indican una cantidad. For example, you can use all to indicar todo, right? All families, todas las familias. Then we have nearly all families, casi todas, right? Families. Then we have most, la mayoría, right? Most people, most people. People like, let's see, um, tortillas, right? Yes, tortillas are delicious. You know that if you eat tortillas, you can have uh, strong bones. Si comen tortillas, pueden tener los músculos, muscles, very strong. Okay, uh, let's see. Then we have many, muchos, right? Muchos, a lot of, también, muchos. Some, algunos, right? Then we have not many, no muchos, a few and a few, pocos, and no one, like no, nadie, right? So do you have questions about the 
the words you have there? Any question? No, okay. teacher. Okay, perfect, Elsie. Mm -hmm. The American people don't want commitment, right? They don't want to commit it. commitments. Yeah. Yeah, commitment. Sorry, because I have a few American friends, mm -hmm. and when I talk to them about marriage, they can they change the conversation. <laughs> really? Yes, yes, yes. I believe. I believe you definitely. They want to have like to be with them, but not forever, right? They are changing constantly. That's right. That's right. Okay, and Euro and Europeans too, right? They don't want to get married too, but it is because of the high cost and they want to live their life as freely as they can. Okay, let's go with this one. Nemos, when you have, for example, depends of the war, you have to take a look of the subject, right? Tengamos cuidado with the subject. In the case that it is plural, the verb, must have a correlation con el sujeto, ¿ok? Recordemos que dependiendo del sujeto, el verbo tiene que ir de acuerdo, right? They must match. Por ejemplo, si tenemos families, una palabra plural, entonces voy a utilizar el verbo en plural, right? Ok, a diferencia del no one, no one, Siempre va a ser singular, eso sí, yes. Entonces le vamos a agregar S al verbo. No one gets married. Eh, or no one, no one wants to have children. It's, the, it's, it's an example, right? It doesn't mean that it is true. Oh, it's just an example. No one wants to have um Another word, you can add it there. Okay, so questions, guys? As you say, oh. it does. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So give me a sentence using the word most. Tenemos una palabra, una oración, right? Using most. Give me a sentence, please. Most. The that means the most? the most of people. Only most, right? Most. Oh, only most. Yeah, only that is the, the, the word, most. I lost idea, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me. Most? Most of people? Most people? No, most of people, it's correct. Most, it is most, right? I've heard most of the people, but let me, let me find out. I am not quite sure, but right now let's only use most, okay? But yes, I heard it. Let's go, child. Let me just find that about that one, okay? Give me just a second. Okay, let's move on in class. Let's get our papers, guys. Aha, uh -huh. Oscar, right. Okay, Oscar. Give me the sentence, please. <laughs> Most, uh -huh. Teacher, why mm -hmm. me, teacher? <laughs> you are the, the one in charge. Okay. I think that the most people like, like mm -hmm. most people like, uh, like to play video games. No. Yes, most people like to play video games. That's right. Okay. okay. Any other? Okay, give me an example. Let's see who. Manuel, please give me an example using some. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Uh, song, but really. Uh... Some people um, prefer read uh, read read the book the book uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
eh, how do you say que como decir prefieren leer libros que mostly uh, oh I'm sorry some people some people prefer right to read books to read books instead of we can use instead instead of which watch TV. instead of watching TV <laughs> I'm right, not all. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice this topic. And by then we'll move on to another activity. Okay, we have to rewrite the sentences. Rewrite the sentences using the quantifiers. Okay, can you help me with the first one, Jenny, please? Hello, Elsie, are you there? Okay, teacher. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, in, okay. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Mm -hmm. And number two. In Australia. Oh, I'm sorry, we have to. We have to rewrite right the sentences using the quantifiers you have to use the quantifiers uh, right okay you have here answer. 50 yes 50 so we uh, have to... okay uh, a little oh yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and china no a lot of women mm -hmm. in china Get, get mm -hmm. married by the age of 22. Mm -hmm. By the age of 22. Of 22. Mm -hmm. Since, porque estamos hablando de las mujeres, right? A lot of women, it's plural. We're going to use get right. Okay, uh, yes, it's get no get, get. Mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. okay let's go with number two can you help me let's see who is available rose please number two number two rose in australia uh, 87 percent of the married couple have children mm -hmm. So we have 87, so we can use most, nearly all, or nearly all, maybe, or most. Or many, maybe. So what, can you write the sentence, please? Most in Australia. Yeah, most couples, or married, right, most married couples. Have children. Have children in Australia. That's right. Most right. Okay, thank you. So the next one, can you help me, Mr. Oscar? This is your topic. Go ahead. In the United States, number three. Uh, in the United States, nearly, nearly all. The people born before the age of 18. I'll make it up, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, try to use the words we have there, the quantifiers, right? Remember, we have zero as a percentage, right? It could be not many. No. Mm -hmm. All not many can be not many. United States, not many. Not many that people both be both before the age of 18. Or no one, we can say too, right? Or, no, or one. no one. Or no one. No one in the US USA, right? USA uh boat, right? Boats. He write votes before age of 18. Remember that no one 
The verb has to be with S, right? Okay, thank you, Oscar. So let's go with the next one. Let's see. Manuel, number four, 35%. We have 35%. Number four. It can be like not many, a few, or few. Go ahead. In, in this case, a few. Okay, a few. Uh, a few person of American. Mm -hmm. High school student. Uh, yeah. Of people, right? Of the people in Germany. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Live alone. Live alone. That's right. Live alone. A yeah. few percent of the people in Germany live alone. Okay, number five. Can you help me? Let's see, number five. Mm -hmm. Ah, Oscar, Oscar once. Okay, go ahead, Oscar. Seventy-eight <laughs> percent. Okay. <laughs> you the well, microphone ticket. <laughs> You're the lucky one. Go ahead. You are the Thanks, lucky one. Oscar. Thanks, Oscar. Kenny, faltaba teacher. Yo abajo la tiene, mire. No, but you are a gentleman, right? You are well, going to do that for her. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna change my my name. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. So let's try it out. <laughs> See, seventy-eight percent of the American high school doesn't have a job. Ay, ay, ay. Could be uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 78% of American high school students have jobs. It can be like most, we can use most or nearly all, but maybe, or many, we can use many too, right? Many, we can use many. Many Americans, many American high school students Students have jobs. Okay, great job, Oscar. <laughs> okay. Uh, Joe, Joe. <laughs> great job. Todo por Kenny. <laughs> Everything for Kenny, right? Because of Kenny. Okay. Questions, guys, about this topic, the quantifiers. Este nos indica una cantidad, right? Not specific, right? But it gives you uh, something that is close. Uh -huh. No questions? Okay, perfect. So let me just move on to the next topic. That is going to be a listening practice, right? Okay, but first let's have a look of them. Okay, remember that tomorrow is the last day, right? Don't forget that. And it's the último día, guys. Recordemos que hasta la sección 5, más el examen, class de test. Teacher. Uh -huh. en, el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En la plataforma dice que finaliza el 4 de mayo, inglés. Hasta el 4 de mayo. Pues lo que dijeron en el chat es que hasta mañana iba a estar activada. Ah, ok. Eso es porque ellos lo tienen que revisar y pasar las notas. Pero las clases sí serían hasta el 4 de mayo, ¿no? No, hasta... no, hasta mañana. Okay. ¿Cuánto es ahora? Oh, déjeme, déjeme confirmar. Me acuerdo que lo escribieron en el chat. Sí. Aquí dice, dice, veamos. Aquí dice, informarle que tenemos hasta medianoche del día miércoles 27 de abril para finalizar, dice. Uh -huh. Sí, en teoría es, es hasta mañana que terminamos. Si no, pues nos vemos el jueves. <laughs> ok, guys. So, let's go with this exercise. We have 
uh, these expressions, right? We have keep an eye on, that means watch carefully. We have the sentence, be sure to keep an eye right on the kids so they don't get too close to the river. Just taking care right of the children. Then we have the work, the word homesick, right? Homesick, it means when you, for example, go to another country and you miss your country, right? On the state chat in menos, that is homesick. As my roommate is really homesick and can't think about anything else but his mom's cooking, so sweet, right? A ella le hace falta, right? Le echa mucho de menos o extraña su familia. Okay, these expressions will help us with the next exercise. Questions about these expressions? No? Okay, good. So we're gonna listen this audio recording and we are going to answer some, some, give me just a second to share. See? Okay. Let's see this one. Okay, there it is. Okay, we are going to listen and then we are going to complete this section. Let's go. Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily, how are you today? Fine. Good, and how was school today? Really fun. Good, and what did you do? We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books, okay. And what else? We, we made paper kangaroos. You made paper kangaroos. Okay, and what did you need to make your paper kangaroos? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, paper, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games. And then Mom said that you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins? And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Okay, that is that is the true pronunciation, right? That is... How do you feel? Was it easy? This is different, right, from the others. Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's listen one more time and then we are going to try to answer this part. Okay, guys, let's listen. Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily, how are you today? Fine. Good, and how was school today? Really fun. Good, and what did you do? We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books, okay. And what else? We we made paper kangaroos. You made paper kangaroos. Okay, and what did you need to make your paper kangaroos? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, paper, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games. And then Mom said that you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins? And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Okay, guys, let's do it together, okay? What is the first one? It ties paper books. What did the little girl make with paper at school? What she did? She was at the school. Is it a building, an animal, or a person? An animal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if it's an animal. Yes, it is, right? Here you have the conversation. Okay, let's try number two. Okay, the no. girl. Mm -hmm. The girl used 
Ryan's paper and someone said and glue. Let's see. Let's see. We used crayons, paper, and glue, right? Yes. Okay. Then we have the next one. This one's uh, this was a little bit tricky. Okay, we have what did the girl do after school besides playing games? What is got, this? She rode her, her bike. She rode her bicycle. See, let's have a look. Yes, right. Oh, you are good at listening, guys. Okay, what about the next one? The girl played with her. Teacher. Cousin. Cousin. Okay, let's go with cousin. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, it was cousin. What about the next one? Where does this conversation most probably, aquí tenemos un quantifier, right? Most probably take place where? At school, at the house, or a park? At a house. At a house. At a house. Okay, let's see. At a house. And yes, right? <laughs> because they say, welcome home, Dad. Okay. Okay, let me share. Les voy a compartir this, this page. This is for you to listen, right? This is a very good page where you can practice. They have... Uh, the script, tienen el script acá para que usted pueda practicarlo, right? It's free, teacher. Yes, it is completely free, right? Aquí tienen el audio and you have the script aquí para que usted vaya leyendo and at the same time listening. Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily, how are you today? Fine. Good, and how was school today? Really fun. Good. So, this is a great page. Les dan el vocabulary también. Here you have vocabulary and types and all what they use, right? Okay. So the final activity, it is going to be, me recuerdan, please share the, the page, right? So it's going to be that you are going to work with your partners uh, and you are going to create a short presentation, right? About country about the games right since we are talking about families we are discuss about the games right that children do okay vamos a escoger un país you're going to choose a country that you want to visit right vamos a utilizar you're going to use the internet y vamos a encontrar find three favorite games de los que se hacen in that country that play children Video games, no, please. Video games, no more video games. For example, all games, but just video games, no. And vamos a investigar, for example, the name. Eh, y, y, y en el caso del, del game, si se juega inside, or outside, adentro, o afuera, maybe of the house. The rules, right? Las reglas. How many people? Cuántas personas, personas, I'm sorry. And how do you win? ¿Qué es lo que gana, right? For example, before we have we had a lot of games. So you can include the ones from here, from El Salvador. This is going to be great. Okay, vamos a hacer una short presentation. Vamos a incluir pictures of the games. And uh, por cada game vamos a explicar this information, right? Okay, questions, guys. This is going to be a great activity. No questions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the game is the country. For example, you can choose this country, right? Or you can choose another that you want to visit. And uh, yes, the game is going to be based on the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. But let me tell me, please, right now, porque no quiero que se repitan, what country you are going to choose. So let's see. Voy a formar los grupos right now. Y ustedes me indican los países que van a mencionar, right? Y veamos. We are. 
Ok, tengo en el primer grupo Elsie, Henry y Rose. ¿Cuál es, va a ser el, 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 sí, el country? Ustedes lo van a decidir. Si quieren, lo deciden y luego me lo pueden mandar por WhatsApp. Ok, así usted. Ok, guys, no questions. Ok, teacher. Okay. Got it, guys. Let's go to the breakout rooms and see you in some minutes. Hello, Rose. Hello, teacher. Se me cayó este internet. Creo que me sacó el... De, de usted, la, de, no. usted estaba con Elsie y Henry, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok, let me just send you again so we can try to reconnect. ¿Sí?
Juegan tres, ajá. Tres jugadores. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. No va a alcanzar el tiempo, teacher. No, pero por lo menos que eh, vayamos como agregando las ideas. Mañana les voy a dar unos 10 minutos para okay. que ustedes puedan prepararse también, right? So, do you have questions? Por lo menos que podamos avanzar en cuanto a juegos, por ejemplo, country and some information. No okay. questions. Uh, okay. I uh, we we choose the country Australia. We you, you choose you chose the, the Australian country. Oh, really? Why that one? I mean, I think it is kind of hard, isn't it? Yes, I think it's <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> it is, right? it is, it is. But that that is but, good. You can learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> You can, yes, for sure. Okay, so I let you work yes. and mm -hmm. yes. Um, is uh, in this moment we select the three games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just remember that, for example, recordemos que el propósito of this presentation, guys, is that you speak. So try not to read, right? Because the purpose that you speak, right? Mainly. Okay? Yes, practice, practice. <laughs> okay. 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 I work, Thank you, teacher. See you guys. Okay.
Okay, guys, time is over. So tomorrow I'm gonna give you like 10 minutes for you to get ready and order your ideas. In the meantime, you can uh, look for some information and bring it tomorrow. Okay, guys, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See night you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Take care.